So the individual mandate has gotten a lot of press and a lot of attention. And so I want to I give some backstory on the individual mandate. So I believe what happened was is the government went to the insurance industry and said, we want guarantee issue. We want universal coverage for everybody. We want you to stop saying no to everyone. And the insurance company said, all right, the only way we can make that happen is that we need to have all the risk. Okay, we can't just have the bad risk. You know, we, we need to get everybody to participate. And I think we could probably say yes to everyone if we could get everyone into the system. So uh, they're, they're trying to compel everyone in our system to get on board, start doing your part, paying your share, and getting everybody to have the protection that we all want and need. You can't just have 80% of the population paying for the protection, because what happens is the 20% who does nothing is very costly. Uh, they're actually administering and executing their care in the most inefficient way possible. When you go to the ER, when you let your illness over time get chronic or acute, you're coming in at the worst possible moment, the most costly moment. Or if you get good prevention, good wellness, you know, you can kind of take ownership of your own health and get the care you need when you need it, just not when it's acute. What the employer mandate says is that if you're an employer with over 50 employees, you have to offer quality coverage at an affordable price or you'll pay a $2,000 penalty. And the first 30 employees that you have are exempt from the penalty. If you're under 50 employees, there's no obligation to offer coverage at all. And there's no penalty if you choose not to. So for a lot of the individual mandate picks up where the employer mandate leaves off. If you work for an employer who has less than 50 employees and chooses not to offer coverage, or for an employer who has more than 50 employees and chooses to pay the penalty instead of offering coverage, you as an individual have a mandate to go out and buy insurance. Our health insurance advisors in our website, myhealthquoter.com, provides a way where you can shop for that insurance, sort through the different plans, and get some counsel and then some advice from from people on our team who can help you kind of walk through that process.